Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to HPQ. This is definitely the gap of the week. I know today's Thursday, and there could be a gap tomorrow that's amazing, but I think it's going to have a hard time beating this thing. This is one of these things where if you don't know how to read trends, if you don't know how to read gaps, you probably did not trade HPQ today. HPQ was a beautiful, amazing gap, and it just opened and fell out of the sky and really went past the target I had for it. Went past the target, went past the dream target, went to the next dream target. I think this is a sign, a sign for the month of September coming up here that things are going to start to move and really, really drop into themselves and go to bigger targets. And you know, in the summer things are set up and work and there's been some nice gaps, but not everything has gone to dr what I call dream targets. Like way more than you possibly think that it could ever go and it keeps going. Uh, that's what happened with this today. It actually actually broke and went way more than I ever, ever, ever thought. I didn't have any of these numbers written down where it went to. I just didn't even have any of them down. Uh, and I had the first target down, which I thought was more than realistic. And it went and broke just everything. Then I was looking for numbers in the day to see where it was going to go. The wonderful thing about looking at this chart is that I knew this was a good gap today. It had a great call in it. I really saw it for what it is. You have to understand the bigger picture here. HPQ and looking at this and what it did today was pure, pure, pure institutional selling. I'm really going to wait for the detailed analysis of this to go over it in my next uh, webinar because the thing is that there, there's so many things to talk about in this I wouldn't even know where to begin. I'd probably be talking here for an hour. This is really what institutional selling looks like, where you barely even can get a rally. Like there's no entry if you don't know how to take it to take it into the open. You don't, you don't, there's no entry, okay? Because there's no, no one's covering. It's a sell-off. It's getting sold. It's getting sold and sold and sold and sold and sold and institutions want to sell it. They just say dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. A dump can look like lots of things. Sometimes it's a swoosh, but sometimes it's just sell and 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 sell. And that's what this was today. And it was so obvious here. Ever since the open and the five minute, this is nothing, the immediate reversal and the drop down to way past everything, past everything, and just keeps going. I mean, this is almost a vertical line down, if you look at it. Look at that. It's almost a straight vertical line doom, down like that. And then really, it had the whole move in the morning. Typical, typical, typical. Things move in the morning and don't go anywhere the rest of the day. That's why I love to trade in the morning. Be out. All of this thing that happened here in the afternoon went nowhere. It was exhausted. It was absolute exhaustion. And I even watched to see if it set up again in the 15 minute. It just didn't do it. It actually had rallied too hard then. It held 50 but it didn't hold 30 and it didn't hold 25 and even on the 30 minutes, look at this here. This was trying to break and trying to break and it couldn't do it. And the, and the market was rallying this afternoon. This was trying to break and it couldn't do it. This is absolutely lower though now. You could have actually been in this overnight and held it overnight and this is going to continue tomorrow. I really actually think this either gaps down tomorrow or opens right here as a break even and drops into itself. This is lower now. Despite the fact that it had a red day the last however many days before today and gapped down and ran red today, this is still lower. This is, a, this, is just, this is really one of these gaps that you go back and look at it and I say, boy, you know, my analysis on this was I really saw it for what it was. And this takes skill and learning and knowing what to look for. But it was all right there. And it was nothing but institutional selling today in this. Real selling. So great to see that in things. So great to say things go to the dream targets. Love that. Love that about my analysis and love that about gaps. Love that about shorting. And you know, the good thing about shorting is when shorting comes in, it just goes and drops and drops and drops and goes. And you know, it's not the same thing with longs. People take a lot of time to think about buying something. They don't have to take any time at all to think about selling something. They make up their mind to sell it and they're out. And that's it. So this HPQ is definitely the gap of the week. It is absolutely without a shadow of a doubt the gap of the week. I am going to go over an in-depth analysis of this uh, the next time I do a webinar, which is probably going to be in about two weeks or so, and really explain um, the, the, how this all set up. Uh, I, this is really a good example actually to show what institutional selling looks like and why you do have to be with it in order to make money and actually why being with it being with the institutional selling here in this stock is easy money. Easy money to be made in the market because you just take the trade and you let it break you, break into itself and, and, and pay you, basically. You're getting paid then with the institutional sell-off. That's, that's the way to make money trading. This back and forth, you know, 
making 10 cents here, 5 cents here, into support and resistance kind of things. You really have to get the gap move and get with some kind of institutional selling that happens in the day. Some days they go to normal targets, and some days they just go to big targets you never could think of that they'd ever even do. And that's really what happened with this today. And all the people at last night, and all the people at this morning, and all the people in it didn't even matter. Nobody wanted to cover anything. This was a sell-off today in HPQ, and it's not done. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone, and have a great weekend.